Welcome back to EKG. Back here with some Red Dead Redemption. All right, the series I kind of, you know, doesn't want to die, but, you know, it's just kind of here. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no, this is just, see, when a series gets into, like, the deeper episodes like this. Deeper episodes? The deeper episodes. Oh, my God, we're getting in deep, folks. Fight the pillow. No, I'm about this, to go in drag. This is a great part in the game. Oh. I was going to say that we know that only usually are, like, the, the fans who watch a lot of our shit are watching these, so hi, yeah. everybody. Thanks for sticking around, who's ever still watching. Yeah. Look at that epic shot. Right? John? Mr. 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 Like that guy holding his Gentlemen. belt. Right. What the fuck's the point of that? That would have been so. That would have been the best part about living in the like the Southwest back in the day. Just walk around like with a fat stove and a big belt buckle, like meh, meh. And then you had like a gun on one foot, <laughs> yeah. on, on like your other fucking Seth, belt. Yeah. Oh God. There's Seth. But we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. This douche. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, God, you know, <laughs> one of those two things. <laughs> they know. might remove it. They might ask him to leave politely. Or, you know, fucking murder him. <laughs> when the shooting starts, take that as Wait, your cue on. to start hold awarding on. each one other medals. Hmm? We'll be right back. We're back. Sorry. Look at this face. How pissed is he? Look at like, the look Marshall. At, look at Marston, though. He's like, <laughs> that's definitely his vinegar face. Oh, yeah. And oh my god, zoom in on Marshall Paul. <laughs> oh my, I'm very disappointed in you, son. <laughs> All I care about god, he's so pissed. His, his facial like stop. animation looks great though. Who, oh, Marshall? Yeah, killer. looks better than John. Yeah, actually. Well, maybe it's because he was a little bit farther away. Yeah, true. From the shot. And his instinct for survival. We work in mysterious. Look at that ragtag pack of guys. Right? The fucking the misfits, the, the outsiders. The wild bunch. It's an actual western. No, oh, really? My dad loves that movie. God, I just cannot get into western movies. I know. <laughs> they always bore the shit out of me. Also, that, like, there are a lot that are really boring, but there are a lot of really good ones too. Yeah. I wonder if any of them have like cool color palettes. Because like this game, it's obviously lots of like the warm colors, right? Yeah. Definitely. What would have been cool is if they would have done something with Marston to make him stick out, like giving Let's him go. like some kind of cool color, like a purple or a blue. Well, there's you can get different um, outfits through the game, and there's one that's my favorite. Once once we do this and get to Mexico, where it's like a Mexican poncho, and it, it's like the dopest outfit. <laughs> I mean, like maybe something with like his eyes being like a really bright, like making him stand oh, yeah. out from everyone. And like, so I talked about that with Skyrim. Like, if they would have made the dragons look very colorful, how it would have it, it would have offset all of the grays and dark, realistic tones of that world. Yeah, just like this world, everything's very like sa it, not saturated, but um, what's the word? when it looks One like this uh, um sepia no Sep sepia i mean I, no there's like the it's very burnt yeah looking it's very like orange and red and it's very it's saturated yeah i think is it saturated? could be it might be paul can put it up on screen the right word he'll probably know yeah anyway what i mean is it's very obvious that it's bright out it's very like western you know yeah. it's lots of yellows and reds and oranges and light browns yeah a lot of warm colors I was saying something to offset that would be really, really visually appealing. Just yeah. like the dragons in Skyrim should have been bright and colorful, because then they would have offset the hyper-realistic looking world they were in, yeah. making them seem more mystical and more impactful. Yeah, and, uh, I feel like they do a better job with that in Mexico once we get there. Like the the Mexico part of the map is like stunning to me. At least it was like back in the day. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it won't look as good to me well, now, but. And see, that's the thing about games like this. See, to me, a game that's like on the Super Nintendo could still look good now because it wasn't worried about looking realistic. Yeah. That's why, like, compare um, Wind Waker to Twilight Princess, like the Zelda games. Yeah. Wind Waker looks better now. Where at first, everyone's like, Twilight Princess, it looks realistic. It's first off, you know what's happening right now, right? I'm in the back of that thing with a Gatling gun. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so I'm here, so you're talking about art design and shit. We're about to literally murder Massacre people. these people. This guy's actually... No, I'll give this guy credit. He can talk his way out of a fucking grave. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm pretty sure that's, like, his job, basically. Yeah. Well, yeah. And when you're that kind of guy, you gotta... Like, I, hell, I, I admire that trait, sir. <laughs> right. 
And good night. Why won't you have a second person to push on the shit? Oh. I was gonna say, is he gonna let you control this? Oh my goodbye. Do left. I got you. Good night. So much. Up on the top. Oh, this guy in front of you to your right, bottom right. There you go. Alright, yeah, it's the same trick. Yeah, I don't want to fall behind, otherwise they, they rack up. Yeah. So I thought you were I thought there was like a finite amount, but if they're gonna keep like stacking, you wanna get the guys who are close to you. Let's see. I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled as well. I know. It's, it's, it's hard to see him after a while. There's someone in the wishing well. No, that's our guy. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, God. If Nora got me sick, I would absolutely <laughs> My sister's been coughing like she has the plague. Lately. Yeah, it's bad. She had whooping cough. Right. Dude, I had that back in, like, seventh grade. Yeah, you get that, like, when you're a kid. Oh, jeez. Uh. Oh, jeez. Oh, the oh, Wilhelm. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you're going Where is down. this guy? You're right, you're right, you're right. Oh, back to your left. They're right in there. See where the get smoke coming from? Yeah. There, there he is. Pop your head up. There he is. <laughs> nice. Right. Wonder if I was just waiting for you to stop shooting. Probably. Well, and I noticed too, like while the cutscene was going on, like after I pushed open like the top, like I, I just pushed down R2 and they started shooting like even before the cutscene ended. Yeah, that was nice. I didn't know if that was you or the game started the shooting for you. No, that was definitely me. Oh, which I, nice. I didn't know you could even do. What the? <laughs> I mean, that's nice of them, like, to program so you can... I was going to say, like, if this is just, like, a cutscene, I was going to be pissed. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, hey, one of those horses almost looks like Epona. Go get it. Oh, no. Not there. It's orange and has white hair. Where was it? Oh, one of the, uh, the ones outside. Yeah. We'll be taking them when we dip. Oh, okay. Let's yeah, make sure you grab, grab the one that looks the most like Epona for me. You'll have to let me know. Yeah. Well, you've seen Epona. I know, but I don't know which one it looks most likely to you. <laughs> well, I'm right. Oh, my cap. Right. Took his hat off. Oh, my God. Can you imagine having a hat and then it getting, like, you got shot so hard, you, like, got shot off? <laughs> right. We're not talking about death again. <laughs> this is fucking serious. <laughs> right. Let's talk about the best ways to kill yourself. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what people want to talk about. Yeah, right? No, um, fucking, this is, by the way, so, uh, for people watching, this is one of the first recording sessions we've done since we just hit 1,000 subscribers. Which oh, is yeah. Pretty fucking awesome. Hell, and yeah. Like we said that usually, like, the more hardcore fans are, maybe you're a fan of this game, or maybe you're just a fan of us, and you, like, watch what we do. Whatever. Um, <laughs> so we'll just thank you guys, like, you know, a little personally right here. Like, thank you. Comment down below, like, when you subscribed and why, and we can talk, and... I can get your home address and come sneak into your house at night and snuggle with you. I don't know why they wouldn't want that. I like to be the big spoon. <laughs> See, I prefer the little. That's why, we, that's why we work well together, Eric. Right? Even though by so like size comparison, like, dude, I'm definitely like I talk about like how tall I am enough where I don't think it'll ever shock people. Yeah. But like. There's been people on the internet where it's like you figure out their height and you're like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I'm as tall as the editor of Game Grumps, Barry, or the old editor. Yeah. Like, he's my height. Really? Yeah, he's 5'6". Nice. Yeah, and I would have never guessed. So it's like, maybe some people won't know, like, know that I'm that short and they're going to see me, like, in the Maybe Miss Crazy videos and shit like that. And then if they, like, come to, like... Because we do plan on going to cons now and, like, you know, start, like, interacting and eventually trying to get panels and shit. Our friend Bolivia, Jake's girlfriend, is like, yeah, I'll get, I'll dress all slutty and I'll pass out like brochures for it, you know, get everyone to come. And, uh, yeah, it's funny because Jake's like, I actually brought it up a different time in without her there. Yeah. And like the first time Jake wasn't there, second yeah. time she wasn't there. And I'm like, yeah, she said she'd do that. And Jake's like, oh yeah. Like, before I said, Bolivia's like, oh, she would totally like, you know, get all slutty and like pass out things. I'm like, she definitely said she'd do that already. <laughs> He's like, yep, that's that's her. Yeah, she's very open about that shit. Like she doesn't. She's like, I'm comfortable with my body. I don't care. Oh, yeah. She's awesome. And I, I admire that. It's been nice to have, like, a girl to hang out with that, like, I have no... Like, it's nice to have friends that are just chicks, you know? Like, I oh, haven't yeah. had that in a while. And I, I've had one who I had throughout college. But, like, this one, there's, like, absolutely no, oh, no. like, any kind of intention from either party. So it's nice. We're just friends. And yeah. I was like... I was like, oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. Oh, I just, just slaughtered that horse. Yeah. 
fucker. <laughs> you kill all, the, all these people, I'm like, you go for it. <laughs> kill the horse, you fucker. But no, it's nice, you know? Oh, yeah. Friends are just, like, you have a couple, I know. Oh, yeah. But you're obviously Your sister a being one of them. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. She's probably been my, like, longest time, like, friend that's a girl. Yeah. Well, I mean, Which is rare. He's got a. I've been friends with her basically since like elementary school. Yeah, well, as long as well, actually, friends. elementary school, like we we were like friends, but we were also kind of like enemies because her and freaking all her little friends used to like torture me basically. Oh, that's right. <laughs> well, it's because they were girls, and girls are evil. Oh yeah, especially that age. Oh my god, right? Oh my god, this is a slaughter, right? Oh, oh my god, good Paul night. Paul, zoom in, instant replay. Good night. Oh. Do it again! <laughs> do it again, but now faster! Do it again, but now faster than that! <laughs> now do it super slow motion and have it take up the whole screen. Oh man, they didn't even know Perfect. what hit him. Thank you, Paul. Oh my, hello, beautiful. Marston! <laughs> Mr. Marston! Mr. Marston! <laughs> he said it. God, everyone's so fucking ugly besides us. Javier Escuela. Javier, Javier, God, tortilla. look at Seth. Javier, queso, tortilla, squidly. Oh, God. I didn't think Seth could get any uglier until he took off his hat. Oh, God. Yeah, Seth reminds us that our hair will never be that bad. <laughs> yeah. Like, Makes me feel a little better. <laughs> He's like, mm, yes. Yeah, weird that... We're trying to find this one dude, and the part, the place we think he is, we attack it, and he's not there. Great. Well, I mean, well, I mean, obviously, a very like, short game, <laughs> game <and> over. <laughs> he, he was like in the first bar you walked into, and you just capped him, and it was like game. Right. And, well, I did it. God damn, dude! Put your hat. Seriously, back on. is he Smeagol? <laughs> he's actually Smeargle. Smeargle? That's a Pokemon. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. He has a little paint tail. Oh yes. Oh God. Get, uh, riding to Mexico is the most epic part. Really? Yeah. And like, that epic part's gonna happen after this cutscene, and so I can say next to on EKG, but it's not now, and it's going to end, and it's going to end. And then I pressed X. Now! Show us the next time. More. Speak HC. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing that.